Hello everyone, I'm Eve Defender, aka the Slime Darts. Hello everyone, I'm Eve Defender, aka the Slime Darts. That's right, there is an official place to this channel. Not like this Sam Spacho here. I just don't reveal that much. Why now? Who cares? Today, I'll be giving you Mishima news of 2024. Okay, enough Mishima fun business. First, I'll go over the primary content, Sam's Slime Darts Mishima Short Series. Recently, there's been a few videos that I even, you know, didn't even have planned for this year, like Man Behind the Mask and Tablet Stand Awakening, which I suggest you should watch if you haven't, which means what I have planned got kind of pushed down the line. Now, I do believe Halloween Special 2024 will come out, and so will a few more videos, but it seems like the list I had won't be complete before 2025, and that's okay. I got a Sam's episode, The Stand, out of the way. The next episode, hopefully out by next year, will be very cool, once I actually start texturing models in Blender, that is. While there's a lot to say about Sam's, I'm gonna go move on to something else, The Fiend Stalkers, a Hill 3 Mishima series I have planned for a long time, but didn't do much with it. Recently I made a short baloney to this series, starring Cameron Smith, who you may know as Moonlight Ninja. It's really short, but I love doing the animation for it. So what about Fiend Stalkers? Well, I'm currently writing the first season's rewrite. It was, the original was not that good. I did have a good schedule about, you know, how to write it, but I guess I'll just do it you know, whenever I feel like it. But, for fun, and to give you a better idea how it will be, I'm releasing a slightly edited version of Episode One script. I cut it down for spoiler purposes, but overall the script will be exactly the same as the, you know, final outcome of the episode. Linked in the description, if you're interested. It's heavily inspired by Life is a Table, which you should also watch if you haven't. Now, for something completely forgotten, or unknown, have you ever heard of Amnesia Chorus? Well, if you haven't, good. If you had, then I'm sorry. <laughs> AOC, for short, was a red vs. blue fanon project that I had dubbed a while back. That's right, fanon. Fan, but appears canon. In the past, I've written various different scripts of, you know, news and information. But this time around, I'm just gonna speedrun this explanation. <sighs> Hello? Ninja Chorus is an old Hill for Mishima project based on Reference Blue, taking place during the event of the Chorus Trilogy. Following the one more survivor, the Hand of Moreau Crash, who has amnesia, hits the name of the series. This fanon focuses around the survivor and other original characters for this fan idea, such as a rebel and a fed. While that wasn't as long as I thought it needed to explain, either way, what about this idea that may never happen? Well, I do hope at least to get one season now, really covers the events of at least season one. But the reason I bring this up is because I have a few, you know, uh, fan reference blue ideas, which I won't get into right now. In fact, this map and that character back there, well, under deep thinking and consideration, I've come to the idea to combine all my reference blue fan ideas into one within the same universe, which means AOC is no longer fanon, but just some other fan idea. This is actually good because none of them really interfere with each other. There's existing two major stories, Amnesia Course and Horse. Oh my god, they rhyme. While I'm disappointed that AOC is no longer a fan, and it was probably for the best. There was way too many things happening that didn't happen in the original series. Hell, alongside Locust Felix and Shark Base, there was going to be a fellow prisoner ship soldier who I concepted to be named Dyer. I mean, look at this cool render I made of the four together. Isn't he so cool? He's, 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 he's like a jetpack guy. You, you know, whatever. What next? Um... Really, nothing. Honestly, this video was just made to cover the whole Amnesia Burst news, but I threw Sam's and Feed Stalkers in there too. I will drop that I've also been writing several Machinima scripts that don't relate to these three subjects. Some being super secret Machinima projects I've kept under the radar. <laughs> I miss radar. Oh, and technically I started a new project on a new channel that connects to all my Machinima ideas. No, I'm not going to promote it here. Why? Well, I want to start it kind of, you know, as its own thing and see if it kicks up on its own and maybe find, you know, find new viewers for these videos here. Well, uh, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I've got shot to the do and I hope you all have a good day. Oh, and 
real quick, shout out machinima time. Crying Cicada. If you love someone who is determined and willing to use what he can at hand to get his work done, and has been working on a story for over 10 years, check out Moonlight Ninja. It's been a real pleasure to know and help him make these stories, as well as helping me. I'm proud to call him my friend. And yes, I'm a bit biased. Anyway, Grouper and Rat. This is a Hail 3 Mishima series that started a few months ago and currently has two episodes out now. While tech is providing some issues like low FPS, I honestly love the story so far. Like Moonlight Ninja and the rest, links to the channel will be in the description. Halo Spartan Project. While using a lot of text to speech and a bit in a too inappropriate for me, I enjoy this so far and all the other videos they have. I love this beginner type of machinimas. It really sends me back to my early days. Not saying that I'm no longer a beginner, but nor am I not a beginner. It's, I've been doing Machinima for like nearly three years at this point. Okay. <laughs> Deserted Reboot. Apparently, a Halo Machinima series from years ago that ended up stopping after its first season is currently being rebooted, and it's on its second episode. If you like animation mixed Machinima, I recommend this, much like Crying Cicada. One final note, just to not let this video go longer than it has to, Stone Visor. Currently on a series called Codename Nemesis, which has a few episodes, special shorts, episode 3 is currently being worked on. What I know about it, it's going to be freaking lit. They recently made an undercover boss parody starring some of the Codename Nemesis character in it. One I'm glad to voice in. Okay, you get it. Um, have a scientific day.